Hello guys, what is up? Lamin8180 here, or Liam. I'm going to be doing a bit of live commentary. And yeah, I'm going to be sitting in Division 2, race to Division 1 basically, but I'm doing awful in Division 2 at the moment. Might even get relegated for the first time. But yeah, I'm going to be City, because I normally play quite good with them. Just sort out their squad. It's not too bad at the moment, actually. I'll normally put Johnson on instead of Milner, though. But since Johnson's gone, let's just play Milner. Tevez in reserves. <laughs> let's chuck the Tevez on. I really like Aguero in this game, he's really good. I like him in real life as well, great player. Great goal he got. Aguero! Yeah, that would do, whatever. Savic there, they've made him a bit better. I think he's gone now and all. Part of the deal with the centre back they got or something. Let's go. But no, I don't support C, I'm just playing them because I like playing with them on FIFA, I've played quite well with them. I support Portsmouth and Gendam in real life. Gendam's doing alright so far. They've played four games. I know. They've, they're top of the league, they've got 10 points, they've won, played 4 games, they won 3 and drawn 1 which is in League 2 which is good and Portsmouth at the moment not doing very good at all but it's no surprise of all the money trouble we're getting and we're getting loads of players on 1 month loans so it's not surprising but yeah, we go in the game here we all Madrid he is, how typical, he has to be some Spanish team yeah, let's hope I play well, because I've been in bad form in FIFA lately. Maybe it's because I don't play it as much anymore, but let's hope I can beat. Oh, that's a bad shocking ball that was. Oh, crap, Ronaldo is on the ball, running down the wing. Oh, straight O's, back to Ronaldo, that's a good ball. Oh, I thought that was offside then, but oh, well done, Hart. See, so this ain't going to be easy. Real Madrid are a very good team in this game. Ronaldo is overpowered as hell. But no, Ronaldo is a good player in real life and all. Great player indeed. I'm just going to whip in across, see what happens. I don't want to be on the counter now like this. Because he's got pure pace doing them long balls. Company just almost misses up there. Yeah, he does. It's a foul, but lucky enough he doesn't get booked. As it wasn't that lethal, even though it was last man. Yeah, so the team's doing good in the league at the moment. Premier League's looking really good. I'm watching a few games. Just watch um, Arsenal beat Liverpool today, 2 0. I'm not sure why Liverpool got rid of Andy Carroll for, because he's the only one they can get in the back of the net for him. Good effort there. Aguero. Suarez, you know, he's, he's one of them players that I think needs to play up front with someone. He's not the lethal finisher, he's more of a creative player that can, you know, sweat it along the goal, beat a few players and it set up the other player. But he just seems to be chucked on his own with these youngsters on the wing, it just doesn't make sense why they would do that. But no, Arsenal's looking really good. Some good signings there. They, their centre midfield's looking good with the RB back. I'll tear in the middle with him and um. Ah, oh, I forgot his name again. Santi Cazara, that's the one. Yeah, he, he's looking really good. He's forgetting his name, but I like him. He's in my Sky Sports Fantasy football team. So, you know, he's, he's quite. He's looking good on the ball. Having some good shots, and he got a goal today, which is good. And Podolski got his first goal. You know, Podolski's going to get some goals. He's very experienced. And there's a very good goal record behind him, so that's really good. So it's nice Arsenal signed some good actual players for once. With good experience. So they can rely on, you know. They needed that since Van Persie's gone. And of course, Van Persie, the big headline today in football. As he got his hat trick against Southampton. No, I thought man you had it, you know. Couldn't believe he got the hat trick in the end, they were 2-1 down. 
I predicted from the beginning that um, Southampton would win 3-1 and all. I even said to my dad that they would, and it's, you know, almost came out that result, but no. Van Persie just slotting it in each time, you know. Southampton did play some good football. A lot of people reckon they did play the better football, which I know. I don't know, they were clock creative. But in the end, man, you got it in the net a bit more. Well, Van Persie did. <laughs> None of the Van Persie goals were actually amazing. Just average, normal Van Persie goals, he was there at the right time. We are looking forward to FIFA 13. I think the demo's out soon. I think it's 15th September this month. So it should be good. I read it was 11th somewhere. I don't know if that's New York now. But I do have an American account, so I just get on there if it does come out 11th anyway. Yeah, I've been here and it's really good. So it'd be good to play the demo on that. Come on, got thrown a good position here. Silver. Very good on the ball, getting round him. He's going to drill it in. Oh, and it almost caused havoc, but Casillas, very solid keeper, picks it up. Yeah, Premier League's doing good. Watching it. I've said from the start of the season I think Arsenal's going to win the league. Which I know he probably thinks bonkers. He's probably like, oh, you don't know much about football in New Year's. I don't know, I just like going the underdogs most of the time. <laughs> just because I like their signings as well. I mean, they haven't conceded yet, which is good. But they've only scored twice, which is bad. Yeah, of course, City and Man U will always be there. And Chelsea's had a good start so far. Torres playing good as well. I can see Chelsea slip, slipping up sometime though. I mean, if they get an injury or one player's just out of form, they don't take their chances one game, you know, it could be all over for them in the title race. Oh, what a bad effort there from Nazri. I don't really like Nasri much, he looks a bit dodgy. Oh, he's taking a while to take his kick, isn't he? <laughs> and, you, and you saw Chelsea get, um. Oh, crap. Oh, what a save from Hart. Oh, it's oh. I thought I passed it to Ronaldo then, that's sure an offside, is it? No, oh, it came back to him, I don't know. <laughs> that was a close one, but yeah, what was I saying? Chelsea lost like 4 1, didn't they, on that Copa Europe? Falco getting them good goals. Falco's a really good player, just getting those injuries most of the time, which is a shame. Yeah, I don't really know what to do much on this channel at the moment because not much else to do. Everyone else has done it anyway. Not many of my subs watch me anyway, so no biggie. Oh, another great save. Getting a bit lucky here. <laughs> Counter it. Go. Run. Oh, see the space there, Tevez, go on. Knock it wide. David Silva, turning it. Getting it to Aguero. Aguero. Nice Ray. Ooh, damn it. It's about to stop there. Nil nil half time then. See, I'm not playing the best. I'm not very used to live commentary as well, so that's a bit off putting sometimes. Yeah, Joe Hart's kept me in the game, definitely. But I'll try and play a bit better this time. Yeah, hopefully I can get like quite a few subs when FIFA 13 comes out. Get some people actually watching my videos because I enjoy editing 
once I get the ideas in and it makes it even better if you know a few people's watching that's why I like getting the Afawana series out because a few people watching that so that's good see you enjoyed that so that's really good it's my first series I ever completed so that's nice Get some nice passing going on here. That's good. Nazarie's away. Finding that space. Trying to look for a run. Uh, corner. Get company on it. Ooh. But yeah, it's a shame Aguero got injured. He's in my fantasy team as well. Oh, company strength. Uh, I don't know why I crossed that, I knew he was offside anyway. It's a shame Aguero got injured and another injury today, that Neil Taylor for Swansea, he's out for the rest of the season. And Carroll, who did his debut at West Ham, where he's on loan and he can have, they have the option to buy and they're going to like sign him if they stay in the Premier League apparently, I think. I think that's what they said. But yeah, he got injured as well, Carroll, and he's going to be out the England game. Which, you know, you got no Rooney, you got no Carroll. So I wonder what strikers they're going to use. I mean, you got Welbeck and Defoe. I quite like both of them players, both quite good. I think Defoe would be best because good finisher. Just a solid clinical finisher. Very experienced as well. You could even play Welbeck behind him, maybe. Welbeck can pass and cross, which I think is quite good for a player of his age. Nice ball down to Clichy there. Got some good runs going on now. Guerrero. Turning. Turning. Torre. Torre is a great player, Yaya. Great, great player. I didn't expect much from him when he came to City for the price he did. On about 300k a week, I think, more than that. Which was in the paper I saw once, and I was like, I never really heard of him much because I don't usually watch Barcelona. Spanish League too much. But yeah, he's a really good player. Oh, I just run it out there. Annoying. Shame it's a nil nil uh, on my live commentary one. <laughs> the match I want to do. Ooh, almost getting through for now today. Oh, stop using the skill. Oh, one crap. It's because I was pressuring them. Yeah, he's paused it now, so let's have a look on the subs. Oh, Richard's quite tired. Strange. Kolarov's, Kolarov's quite a nice player. Can cross it in the net. Let's chuck him on, I quite like him. The Balotelli. Yeah, let's chuck Balotelli on like that, get Aguero off. And Johnson's gone to Sunderland now, I think. A good move for him, actually, he can get some game time now. It's good. The thing about Van Persie, the Arsenal fans quite annoying me the way they're just like, oh he's going to do rubbish there, like, oh I hope he breaks a leg. And I think he just shouldn't be like that, I think you've got to be realistic. He's actually gone there to win trophies, I mean Arsenal hasn't done that in so long. And that's why Nasri and Fabregas and all that really wanted to go properly. You know, they want to be on top, they want to be on the top of the league. At a top club. You know, Arsenal is a top club, but they're not a top, top club. They used to be top, top club when they were winning everything and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So you can't blame them, I don't think. I don't know why you can go on massive rampages, saying he's crap now. And what a rip off and stuff. I think it's a good sign, but I think it's good on Arsenal's end as well. For like 24 mil, I think it was, wasn't it? So, you know, he's quite a lot of money for a player of his age, so it's good on both ends. Really, he's helping your club out by getting that money in, even though you haven't spent it yet, but, you know, future-wise, it's good. So that's annoyed me, all the Arsenal fans. So much hate for Van Persie now, it's just not needed. Because he's tried his best at his, your club. It's, it's not his fault he got them injuries and stuff. You decided to keep, keep him on the club, and it's good that you did, because... Without him on that season, you wouldn't have done very well in any sort of cup and tournament. 
but now he thought it's time to go because he wants to win some trophies. He's got the Bibbatelli on now. Gonna try oh, nice little flick. Ooh. Oh, he fouled. <laughs> it's 81 minutes now, and it could be just a boring nil nil in my live commentary. I haven't really had any shots either. Now oh, he's going to score now, isn't he? He's actually through Di Maria. Ah, Gerard, solid. Such a tank on this game. So many saves. Eight saves for me, jeez. Oh, what a save from Gerard! Jesus, I don't even deserve to be winning with your join us. I mean, oh my God, another great save! Just get rid of it. I'm rubbish at clearing. I just pass it out for no reason. Gee, I'm not the best player at FIFA, but sometimes I can do some nice creative play. I'm not an amazing skiller, as you can find out right now. Maybe I can do the odd skill sometimes. Out there. Could this be Balotelli? Oh no, I've run it too far. No, no, no. Oh, I thought I'd go for it. Maybe I should have sweated it. <laughs> I don't usually sweat. I don't like sweating. I may be in really desperate moments. Maybe you could call this a desperate moment. Like I'm struggling in Division Two like crazy. Even though he's had more shots, you know I've been creating plays. So it's quite good. Ooh. Three minutes added on. Benzema. Next week goes one of his last attacks, probably the last attack of the game. There we go, Joe Hart. Saving it once again. Woo! Yeah, when it's full time. Nil nil, sorry about no goals guys, that's live commentary for you. You never know what you're gonna get. If you enjoyed this, please like comment if you want me to do more. And yeah, I'll do more. I'm looking at Joe Art for ten, jeez. Some of the eleven saves he made. I mean what a goalie, I mean. Great goalie for England and Man City as well. And great in this game, as you've seen. <laughs> so if you want me to do more live commentaries then write in the comments. If you think this video is crap, dislike the hell out of it, can't then. But you can't dislike it because you probably don't watch this far, you probably quit by now. <laughs> but anyway, I've been named Lamlayer. Hope to see you soon. To all my real fans out there, have a good day.